Mike here with Mike Walton Consulting and I just wanted to bring you guys a quick video on the updates to the new Kemp VLM load balancers. Now if you follow me at all or if you know me at all you know I'm a huge Kemp fan. I love the Kemp load balancers. I love what those guys do out there and they're always trying to make things better. So they just underwent a pretty large upgrade in the sense of um, where they've rearranged some stuff on the actual interface and just from a visual perspective things look a lot different. So I have a class out there on Udemy. I'll put the description um, below or I'll put the link below in the description. And this class teaches you everything you to need to know about the camp load balancers. But in this video, I'm not gonna go over that class. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over some of the new stuff on the new Kemp VLM load balancers. So stay tuned. So we're here on Google's website and I've already gone ahead and actually created this VLM uh, this new VLM. Now if you don't remember what the previous one looked like, this is what it looked like. So now let's take a look at what the new Kemp VLM looks like. So we're going to go 192.168.200.16, which is the IP address I gave it, and make sure that's HTTPS. And voila! The new and improved Kemp VLM user interface. Now you might say to yourself, well it's just a different look and it is for the most part it is just kind of a different look. There are a couple things that I'm really happy about that they've added. The first thing they got rid of the graphs on the main page. You know that was a great um, statistic to look at right away so you could see how things were doing as soon as you log in. However I wasn't a huge fan of it, um, mainly because they only showed you very limited stuff. Um, and then your other statistics, like your memory usage, were not very, they were only real time. You couldn't go back and look at something. So if you had an issue, you couldn't go back and look what the CPU was doing or what the memory was doing or what the network was doing. They fixed those. So now if you'll remember, the statistics tab or statistics section here was only a link. There was no drop down menu. Now there's a drop down menu. And what do we have? We have real time statistics and historical graphs. So let's go to real time statistics first. And this is very similar to what we had in the past. And what we see here is we see the CPU utilization in real time. We see the memory utilization again in real time. And we see network utilization once again in real time. We can switch to our real servers or our virtual servers. And I obviously just created this so I don't have anything set up just yet but we can see all of this information in real time. Again, nothing new. The new place is dun -da -da, historical graphs. Now I love this. So not only do you get your virtual services and your real servers in historical graphs, but now you get your CPU metrics in real time and in historical graphs. So now I can go back and look and if I want to see what the CPU utilization of this guy was a month ago, I can go back and see that. Now granted, like I said, I just built this thing so it's not going to have a whole lot of utilization at all and as you can see, it really just started a few minutes ago. But same thing with network. You know, if I want to go back and look at some network utilization that took place during a problem we had, say, two hours ago, boom. I hop in today and I can check my network utilization from two hours ago. And then you can see here this is just because this has two Ethernet set up. I'm only looking at one. So aside from the usuals that we already have, the virtual services and real servers, we now have CPU metrics, historical graphs, and network metric historical graphs. This is great. I've been really waiting for this. I'm glad it finally came out because it just helps along with the troubleshooting that you may have down the road if you have an issue. Now, from a standpoint of everything else, there's not a whole lot of difference. Virtual machines is pretty much all the same. Again, really it's just some, it's a different look. It's a different styling, a different look. Other than that, everything else that I can see has remained the exact same. Alright, well I think that's it guys. I want to thank you for watching and if this video, if you liked this video, if it was helpful at all, please feel free to subscribe down below or if you feel so compelled, hit that like button because it helps me out very much and it lets me know what you guys are enjoying. If you're enjoying these Kemp videos, if you find them helpful, 
I like to hear about it because then I can do more. I can do more videos for you guys geared to what you like. So once again, thanks for watching.